I've always loved medieval history. I always wanted to do something that was in this space with knights and fire. Something that was dark, that combined magic, and something of the classic horror storytelling elements, but something that was very different for me. The original concept was never tainted from start to finish. It was made by a Dark Souls fan, Eli Roth himself. We had a lot of uh, creative freedom on this project. It was really fun to do something different and uh, do something really bold. This project is championed and featuring Eli Roth and Dark Souls. It's just a dream project for us. The guiding point for us was to tell a great story. We left it to Namco to tell us when we were going too far outside of the Dark Souls universe. They weren't telling us the secrets of the game. They just said, Dark Souls 3, this is what happened in 1 and 2, go ahead. It's about a knight who's searching for something and things go south pretty quickly for our hero. The battle is finished, fire is still smoking, the ashes are still smoldering. And then he comes in and he sees these three witches. They invite him to sit down and they say, drink and he steps in. As soon as he steps in, that's his mistake. Right out the bat, Eli pitched his concept. It was dark, it was creepy, it was visceral. I came in, sat down, pitched the idea, and they went, wow, great, we love it. This is exactly in the tone of Dark Souls. To get into the Dark Souls universe, you gotta play the game. So we played a lot of Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, just to kind of get into the world and try and interpret some of the design elements of like buildings, architecture, hallways. Overall look for the piece, we had a lot of reference from Namco. We tried incorporating that with Eli Roth's aesthetic. He's had some great input, reference for backgrounds, reference for characters. The animators were really down to collaborate. As soon as I said, what if Crow's pecking out the eyes, everyone did the, in the sky and then coming down and... That's always the funnest stuff to animate. I love working with a team. It's not just, hey, I have this idea, everybody execute it. It's a, you have an idea and you have to inspire a team of artists all serving this one bigger story. To see Eli's vision come to life every aspect of the way, it's been a very rewarding process. First designs, and you're excited about the designs. And then you get to see them move, and there's sound effects. And then you're excited about that, and then you're putting the finishing touches. At every stage, we've been more and more excited, and that's such a good sign. You know, I've never had this kind of experience before, and Namco is just amazing. I mean, they really, really wanted to do something cool and innovative. The pencil mileage alone was pretty intimidating, but we uh, rose to the occasion. Being a fan of the franchise myself, I think the fans are really gonna enjoy this. We were able to really come up with whatever aesthetic we wanted. We tried to steer to feel like it was in the Dark Souls universe. It's a game that I love, and now that I've done this and it's gone so well, I really wanna do it more. It was really, really fun.